regardless is is a very very solid Bowser even um, taking a lot of very strong players to game three the last I remember was Void he took to game three at a land hero yeah he's um, probably beaten stuff or taken other good players the distance before and after that but that's just what's at the top of my mind yeah and he is taking a set off elegant so that's something to be considered too yeah and he actually is going to go to Marth. I forget the Zen Ascent, so he's probably going to be using his uh, secondaries, especially for the top 10 players. There you go. Yeah, is uh, Marth. We usually see it against Renai most of the time, but it's coming out now. And so let's see how Malgo is going to fare against this Prince. Three, two, one, All right, game one on Smashville. He immediately opens up with the uh, dash attack, just jabbing him. Make yeah. sure he, he's stating his presence, right? Trying to establish a dominance in the neutral. Yeah, kind of getting a throw combo. Going to reset back to neutral. The big thing about Marth is that the big thing you want to do is try and catch that landing. It's definitely a big weakness of Marth, but right now he's got himself at the edge. Almost going to try to roll away with his advantage position right now. All right, here comes a grab from Mago. Up throw into neutral air. They're not talking about being able to catch that landing on the whiff. Be able to get a lot of good damage. He only needs to do that about two more times and nice. just catches him sleeping on the ledge. I love that um, air dodge into immediate uh, Whirling Fortress. Yeah, just using all of his tools right now. Whirling Fortress, of course, a great out of shield option, his fastest option out there, and he's going to get a lot of coverage out of it, too. All right. Wait, is this it? Oh my god! And he finds the up throw into. Up air at the right percent, sitting at 88. This is looking very nice for Mago right now, but he's off stage. Not quite gonna be able to find the Dolphin Slash. He's at the edge right now, catching the landing in again with the Whirling Fortress. Only gonna get one percent though. Oh, great catch from Pumori here with that perfectly spaced uh, forward smash. Gonna clutch out that first stock. Yeah, it's Mars. You're definitely allowed to do that, especially against people like Bowser, who's one yeah. has a big body and two has that uh, linear-ish recovery. Right. So he's gonna be able to abuse that a lot, and so resetting the situation before things get out of hand. Yeah. And with only six percent separating these two players, Como is content to sit on that platform. But now he's gotta make something happen. He finds a down throw into fair. And he's still continuing with these fairs, keeping Mago at the ledge. August finally gonna go to land, but throws oh. out the Warring Fortress, and that is something that you will ha be able to punish after the move comes out. So Komo Carry very wise, just waiting for it. The command grab, and he's in good damage right there. Komo Carry still throwing out all these aerials, and Mago just cannot find the answer right now. He's having a really hard time just trying to land. Oh, that's it. Goes in deep right there and follows him all the way through to end the stock right there. That was really clean from Como. Knowing that he had to push his advantage as much as he possibly could because, I mean, all of that damage, even even up until that percent, I would have said, like, you know, it, it's not that scary for Bowser as long as he's able to, like, get his feet back on the ground and not get tippered. He's pretty heavy, so he's going to be able to survive. But yeah, you see that tipper forward air taking him off the side. And already the Nair doing 18 damage. That is a very, very big damage output move. Even for Bowser. And again, Komori Kiri immediately just retaining the advantage position. Loses control a little bit with that left trump, but immediately ends his back with the Nair on his getup. Right. Back air from the platform, pushing Como towards the corner. The up tilt, very good anti-air to use against a character, especially like Marth. He's just dashing around trying to figure out his way in. Komo Kuri being very wise and selective when he throws out his moves to make sure that he does not get grabbed into death again. Oh, snap. Mago's going to want to have to be careful right now, but he can still tag on a little bit more damage. Find himself a grab away from finding the stock. He gets the first grab. This is not going to be the stock. He gets a back air for stage control. Though. Yeah, this is a really good mix-up for Bowser to have in his pocket. Instead of going for the upper, going for the back air, send him off stage again. He could potentially kill earlier yeah. too, but it's just on battlefield. Not quite going to be able to find it yet. 
Oh my god. Alright, and again, sending him off stage. Let's see if he tries to find the forward tilt. Not quite gonna be able to find anything. Makes it back to the ledge. Mago trying to find his option right there, but gets clipped again by the fair. Yeah, Como playing very anti-grab right now. Sticking his disjoint out in front of his face. Alright, down throw. Not gonna go up for up throw. Still not enough percent to take this heavyweight off the top. Oh, is right this it? He tried to find the grab. Oh. Bowser's very heavy, yeah. uh, so he probably does not want to do it until he makes sure he gets the kill, but a backer will be able to take out that side. Until he knows. It's like, oh, 300%? This definitely will kill him. <laughs> oh, snap. Sit on him. Yeah, very interesting option right there. Usually you only see that when you, you're catching your opponent in shield a lot. Yeah. And again, with Battlefield, because of the platforms, you don't really see too much. Ooh. There's another combat grab. He gets some good damage. Not quite going to be able to get the kill. Chase with these aerials right now. Cannot land, but the slow momentum actually trips up Como just a little bit. And this right. should probably... Beautiful edge guarding right here from Como. This should probably be dead very soon if he doesn't love it, but he actually does. Yeah. Oh. Mago, a second chance of life right now, but still has yet to take a stock from Como in this second game. Yeah, and he's out of that percent too where the up throw to the up air will be able to be an option. So he's got to find another way to be able to take out the stock. But considering the size of the stage, his kill throws and command grabs won't yeah. be able to do it. And he's just going to get forward smash at the edge there. Yeah.